Hey everyone, this is about Angle Martin's OS X Plus module, which is a system extension ROM for the 41C family of calculators. And it brings together many programs from earlier ROMs, uh, such as the CCD module, HEPAX, uh, Zen, and AEC ROMs. And the documentation lists at least uh, 14 code authors. And OS X uses another of Angle's modules uh, called Library 4 to load code into page number 4 on the HP41 address bus, uh, which is a system reserve for clay block where dedicated modules can be located. And today I'm going to demonstrate it on the Swiss Micro's DM41X, a modern day clone of the HP41CX. And to install OS X on the DM41X is pretty straightforward. Uh, you'll need to download the ROM uh, mod files for Library 4 and OS X from hp41.org. And I'll include the links in the video description below. And then you can transfer the files uh, to the DM41X via its USB disk mode uh, and then activate the libraries. And after you've done this, uh, you should be able to go into uh, settings um, and see them installed in memory. Uh, so you should see Library 4. Uh, and load it into page 4. And for me, uh, OS X is loaded into page 8. And so OS X contains many different types of routines, but the first category I'll talk about are those that extend standard 41C operations. And the module does this via polling point interrupts that allow it to intercept calls to standard functions. And maybe the most useful of these is an extension to the catalog function uh, that expands it to support 16 types of catalog, uh, 10 extra than on the 41CX, and then also extending the functionality of the existing 6. Uh, so for example, catalog uh, 0 is greatly enhanced. Uh, and so B displays uh, an IO buffer catalog, uh, G displays uh, an IO port catalog, H executes the HEPDIR function from the HEPAX module, uh, K executes a system check function, and R uh, executes a ROM list. Uh, and so uh, let's hit K. Uh, to do um, the system check. And there's also extra functionality added to uh, Catalog 2. Uh, so by default this uh, only shows the headers of uh, the ROMs that are installed. Uh, and then you can enter uh, the enter key um, to drill into a particular module. Uh, and you can hit the execute key to run a program or A to assign a program to a key. Uh, and you can hit enter again uh, to go back up to the ROM list. Now, overall, the extra catalog functionality really allows for a, a comprehensive view of the system. And OS X also extends the execute program. Uh, so if the user uh, taps alpha uh, after execute, uh, they can type in a program name as normal. Uh, but the execute function now also supports executing any two byte Focal instructions. Uh, so Focal is the name for the 41C language, which is the high level user language the calculator firmware implements on top of its native instructions. Uh, so for example, if I enter 10 into the X register, uh, now I can hit execute and enter, and I can type in the Focal byte codes uh, 98 and 0, uh, which correspond to the factorial and no-op instructions. And after I've done this, uh, so the factorial uh, command will get executed. It's also possible to enter in synthetic uh, instructions that are not possible to uh, enter via the Focal program editor. So for example, I can enter the Focal bytecodes uh, 159 and 89, and 159 is the tone instruction, and 89 uh, is the, the frequency argument. Uh, so you might have heard a high pitch beat then, and uh, it's a synthetic instruction uh, because if you're actually uh, creating uh, a tone um, instruction within the program editor, uh, you can only enter a, a, a one digit argument. And uh, the 
extended execute instruction also supports uh, execution of functions by the XRON number and this is available by hitting uh, execute enter and then execute again uh, and the assign function uh, also allows assigning programs uh, to keys with, um, and it has been extended in a similar way to execute, uh, allowing assignment of two footcal bytecodes to a key uh, or a root in XROM. OSX also extends the standard direct memory uh, functions such as recall and store. And these can now be used to address all of the status registers of the HP41. Uh, so you can even assign to the B register, which holds the program pointer, uh, to jump to a routine without using a label. Uh, and you can also recall and store to the flags register D. Uh, so for example, bits uh, 40 and 41 of the flags register control the display format. And you can't actually control these directly through the set flag and clear flag operations. Uh, so we're in fixed display mode now. Uh, so, uh, if I get the flag status of uh, flag 41, uh, it's not set. Uh, but it's actually not possible to uh, set this uh, via the ECF command. Uh, but with OE6, uh, we can actually just recall the D register. So we hit recall um, dot uh, and then uh, the D key. And uh, we can set flag 41 uh, by adding uh, 2 to the power of 41. Uh, so 41, and then uh, plus. And now we can assign it uh, back into D. And uh, now you notice that uh, the numbers are all in, uh, in engineering mode. Uh, and it's worth stating, you need to be careful writing directly to system registers. Uh, it can cause your calculator to uh, lose memory uh, or crash. And OS X enables the user to enter any of the 256 character bytes available on the 40C uh, directly into the alpha register. And that includes lowercase and special characters. Uh, so for example, if I hit the uh, alpha key, I can uh, and type ABC uh, by default uh, it will present them in lowercase uh, but I can switch to uppercase uh, using the user keyboard uh, and if I turn the user keyboard off uh, I can enter uh, special key uh, characters using uh, the shift key and you can also press uh, shift enter uh, to enter a character code in decimal uh, for example, uh, 64 is the at symbol. And this alpha entry uh, really makes creating strings a lot easier, as well as making programs smaller because of the lack of need to use uh, instructions to switch case. OS X also includes a RAM editor created by Hawker and Torgren, and the starting address is taken in from the X register. Uh, and RAM Edit is a very powerful tool, uh, so the contents of all memory can be edited, including status registers. Again, we need to be very careful not to alter the contents of those system registers inappropriately to avoid memory loss or system crashes. So, so for example, we can directly edit the X register, uh, which is at register address uh, 3 in memory. Uh, so we can enter 3 into X uh, and then run RAM Edit. And the, uh, RAM editor has the uh, register address on the left and then the 14 uh, nibbles on the right. And you can use the program and the user keys uh, to scroll through these. And so we can update the X register uh, to read 4 uh, and then uh, return. And we can also uh, directly edit programs in RAM. Uh, so for example, I've got a, a Focal program that generates a tone on the speaker and has a tone for instruction. Uh, so to edit this with a RAM editor, uh, I can enter the address uh, into uh, X, so it's 403, uh, and then run the RAM editor. Uh, and uh, scrolling through uh, the Focal byte codes, uh, so the I know that the um, byte code for the tone instruction is uh, 9F in hex, and the argument is the following byte. Uh, 
Uh, so we can update that 4 to any uh, value from 0 to 255. Again, any value uh, over 9 corresponds to a synthetic instruction. Uh, so we can say edit that uh, and enter 45 uh, hex and uh, hit uh, run stop to return. Uh, and now if we view the program uh, in the Focal editor, we can see the instruction gets displayed as a tone uh, 9. Uh, but if we run that, uh, that 45 argument will be uh, interpreted. Uh, so the RAM editor uh, in OS X is very powerful. OS X also includes a unique program generator that will translate algebraic formulas into HP41 uh, programs. This came from the uh, architecture, engineering and construction ROM module uh, by Redshift Software. So as an example, we'll create a program that calculates the full distance equation, the distance an object falls under gravity in time t. Uh, so we'll run the program uh, generator, uh, and it'll prompt uh, for the name of the program. Uh, so let's say full d. Now uh, we'll enter a formula being calculated. Uh, so it's... Uh, half times 9.8 uh, times uh, t squared. And now uh, the program uh, generator will prompt for uh, labels for the variable. Uh, so t is time. And uh, the answer is uh, distance. Now it will uh, create uh, the program in memory. Uh, so I can hit the program key to, to view the source code. And if I exit back out uh, and hit unstop, I can run it. So. Uh, Let's enter a time, say, uh, 10 seconds, uh, and the distance is uh, 490 meters. Now I've used a simple example, but the program generator can parse uh, any complexity of formula uh, with any of the scientific functions supported by the 441C, uh, like powers, logs, uh, trigonometric, and uh, hyperbolics. The program generator, uh, which like the other routines in OS X, it was all written in machine language and it's very impressive for its time uh, and was one of the first ProtoCAS experiences on any calculator. And OS X also includes many other functions, uh, far too many to cover in a short video. Uh, there's a series of um, alpha and hex functions, uh, buffer and page, uh, extended memory utilities. There's also a hex editor. Uh, and a program to optimize Focal code by substituting in uh, jump distances to avoid uh, label lookups. There's also an encode disassembler uh, that can print machine language listings to the screen or printer. Uh, but there's no encode assembler, uh, so as far as I know, you can't use OS X to develop programs in machine language. Uh, for that, you would need an assembler module like David Assembler or ZenROM. Uh, maybe a topic for another video. Uh, there are also many utilities for using HPIL devices that I can't demo on a, a DM41X. Particularly, you can read and write extended memory to HPLI, uh, HPIL drives. So in summary, OS X modules are the highly curated OS extension ROM for 41C and includes some of the best and most useful routines from groundbreaking 41C libraries like uh, CCD, HIPAC, Zen, and AEC ROMs, as well as many programs created by the author Angle Martin. And it's really the ultimate OS extension library for 41C power users, or users who want to easily experiment with synthetic programming. And even if you're more of a casual user like myself, uh, it's fascinating to see the creativity and engineering that uh, school programmers have been able to accomplish in the 40 odd years since the 41C was first released. And there are uh, good docs around the module available on uh, hp41.org, but I found myself also sometimes looking at uh, documentation from the original ROMs 
uh, the routines uh, came from uh, for more detail. It's also remarkable that um, Angle is still releasing new uh, versions of OS X uh, and also the multitude of other libraries he has developed uh, to do almost anything you might want to uh, do on uh, the 41C. Uh, and it's people like him that really make uh, the 41C ecosystem uh, live on to this day. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you did, uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get alerted of new videos.